Hello, and welcome to this week's Minnesota Schubert Center video blog. I am talking to you today from the eighth floor of the Hennepin Center for the Arts, which is home to Illusion Theater. Illusion Theater was founded in 1974 by Bonnie Morris and Michael Robbins, and, who run the organization today. And they do a series in July called the Fresh Ink Series, which is dedicated to creating uh, staged readings of new plays. And I would encourage you to check out uh, Illusion Theater's website and uh, the Fresh Ink series because you can always find really interesting work here at Illusion Theater. One of the reasons why we're coming to you today from the Illusion Theater is because we do many of our education programs uh, from the Illusion Theater space. And this past week, our education committee and staff got together to review the past year of education activity that we've been conducting. And I'm really delighted to tell you that this year we conducted over 76 sessions for more than 2,300 students. And that is compared to the previous year conducting 22 sessions. So we've had tremendous growth in the program. And for those of you who may not know about what we're doing in education programming, we're really um, creating kind of a groundbreaking model of using the internet to teach kids across the state um, and provide them artistic experiences, arts education experiences with artists who are in this building and affiliated with organizations in this building. And it has been really a growing and tremendous success. We have almost more demand from schools than we can provide and the program just continues to strengthen and grow. The idea is that we have an artist here in our building like Matthew Janjewski of Arena Dances and in front of him is a large screen and a classroom of students in real time in Morris, Minnesota or in Albert Lee and he can teach them in real time using internet video conferencing technology and literally teach swing dancing or Jason Neuer of Xenon Dance Company can teach hip hop. And it is real time, interactive, very one to one. The students can ask questions and they can answer back. They can dance together and for dance it's been really revolutionary to see the artists working with the students, which dance is a very hands-on kind of teaching activity, and to watch the kind of um, interaction that can happen, even though the students are three or four hours away. We did a really exciting program this year. We did a composer's residency at Albert Lee High School with some of their band students. And we had a local composer, Wynne Ann Rossi, work with students over 10 sessions to create their own compositions, the students' compositions, and then when Ann took those ideas and created a masterwork, which the entire Albert Lee High School band performed at their spring concert. Tremendously successful, and the students really were empowered and saw how much goes into a composition and a work. These are the kinds of experiences that we want to continue to bring to students throughout the state of Minnesota. And we're really thrilled that we have corporate partnerships that are helping us to do this. We, this season, had great support from the Best Buy Children's Foundation, Digital River, the General Mills Foundation, and XL Energy. And their support has been absolutely critical to continuing the program. We're excited because this is just the seed of an idea that once the entire Minnesota Schubert Center is built, we'll be able to really expand the programs, have the interactive technology programs, as well as have students coming to our building and participating in arts education activities. So to date, we've worked in, in 38 schools in 29 Minnesota communities, over 76 sessions this year, 2,300 kids, and we did a web-based program where we had over 92,000 hits on our website um, as a result of the program. So thank you so much for checking out our, our blog and we'll look forward to talking to you soon.